Curramine? Mm. Curramine. Cur just south of Innisfail. Yeah. We actually meant to go to Innisfail, but um, we actually drove through that and ended up here. It was a little bit further south than we thought, but we're okay with that, didn't we? Yeah. We did, we did meet some friends at Yorkie's Knob. And um, we like that but name. Bunt is partial to that name. Yep. Yeah. It went down well with you. Bald didn't it? knob. I don't care about now. Yorkie's knob. We didn't meet Yorkie though. Just his knob. <laughs> well, <laughs> you weren't complaining. <laughs> Yorkie's knob. Little knob. Big knob. Yeah, we're not into well, we we didn't want we're, we're open minded. Yeah, we are. But we're studying the map. It's got a bit of a hole in it from all the bends it's taken. We've loved it. We've loved it to death, haven't we, Bunty? Well you yeah. have. I've I've driven Bunty's been the navigator because I can't read maps. I'd have that upside down and up back to front and I don't know where we'd end up. And I always know where we are roughly. But on our trip we have to say that we have Noticed a few things, um, different, yeah, outback things mainly. Outback stuff that we feel that we'd like to share with you, just in case you ever go on an outback tour. One of them, Bunty, yeah, is cows tossing cars. That's it. There are road signs. You'll see a road sign one day when we get up. There are actually road signs warning you of cows tossing cars. And we have seen the odd car. Well, more than the odd car, yeah. Bunty, haven't we? Tossed Toss. right off the road. That's it. Left on the side. Yep. So it's something to be warned warned about, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. we saw that. We drove past many cows, but they didn't want to toss us, did they? <laughs> so I just <laughs> We just went into We were driving too fast. <laughs> floor it, Liz, floor it. <laughs> Today we did double back. On yeah. the rehabilitation bridges. That's it. My God, aren't they making progress? They are. You know, one of them is rehabilitated and is now back to normal. It was. It was a normal bridge. We drove over it. Gently. Very gently. And we said, oh my goodness, darling, you are so beautiful. Good progress. Good progress. Yeah, we, we were, were so very proud. impressed. Very impressed. Hmm. We saw something somewhat different. Going through the banana plantations. <laughs> on the, We didn't know at first. That they were bananas. Hmm. We'd asked ourselves, why were those short trees got what looks like small plastic bags attached to them? A condom. <clears throat> we they now know that was banana condoms. Yeah, yeah. And we uh, wanted to get up closer, but you know, you got to know who you're sleeping with these days. So yeah, we we didn't. It's good to know that the banana, banana trees have got safe sex. We we we, we, we condone that. Yeah, don't we? Yeah. Yes, we do. We like that. Yeah, we love that. So we saw that now. The one other thing we saw on our way down from Cooktown today um, was the ruse. Oh my goodness, those little devils. I, I can't, no Gosh. one on the road ahead of us, no one behind. Which was usually the case anyway, wasn't it? We approach <clears throat> and not one, but two. One after the other, just bounce across in front of the car, we go... We, should, should we do our reaction? Yes. <laughs> and then again. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, nothing. There were no ruse hurt in that. At or or Stan no. wasn't hurt. Stan wasn't hurt. I think the ruse Liz's hurt. arm was hurt where I gripped it. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, that was an experience, wasn't it? Yeah. Apparently that does happen in the outback. Mm -hmm. But today was our, our, our first day. We have had them seen them bounce but this is not before have we had them bounce in front of the car like kamikaze kangaroos but you know what i love bunty what the names of creeks <gasps> creek they names just a little dinner big creek. dinner creek big dinner creek dead dog creek <laughs> murdering something creek yeah i've got it all slaughter creek oh my goodness we, we didn't hang around there <laughs> We're going to have to go back over the maps because we did go past a creek that was named after a loose woman. It was something like Anne sleeping around creek, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> really? <laughs> Only in the outback. And do you know what? I love some of these names. Now, <clears throat> let me spell you this 
what was it, a town? A town. Yeah. R-A-V-E-N-S-H-O-E. Now, we pronounced it as, as you would... Ravenshoe. Ravenshoe. It's spelt Ravenshoe. Do you know how you, sp- do you, know how you pronounce it, Dante? Raven's Ho. And the, the locals are right. If you say, oh, yes, we're going through Ravenshoe, they go, <laughs> <laughs> idiot. It's Raven's Ho. Yes, it was that idiot that yeah. came at the end of the we <laughs> said, but it's it's written Raven shoot. No, it's written Raven's, Raven's Hoe. Hoe. So well, now I'm not Something else we noticed in the outback: should there be a car behind you, which is very rare, you might be driving along for a few kilometres, and you can see it in your rear view. And Bunty will know by me saying, "Oh my gosh, Bunty, there's a car behind us! Look at that! There's a car behind us!" And I look in my little mirror, and it, yes. Next Confirmed, m- yeah. there is a car behind it's not, We don't see it very often. No, so it's noteworthy. Now you just forget about it for a couple of seconds. Look back, it's gone. Disappeared. Just gone. There are no roads that turn off there. It's one way. That didn't happen once though, did it? No, Monty? it's happening. Even happened on the way back today. Yeah. We don't know where they go, gone. they just go. Now the other thing is, all the time since we set off, the local people, wherever we've been, because we've said things in surprise like oh it's not terribly busy here and they say no it's too hot Liz has said to them when's your busy period and they say and they said oh it's when the grow the grey nomads come up from the south and I thought is there some elephant population that comes up from the south (laughs) a grey nomad is an old pensioner who come from the south Victoria in their RV or their caravan yeah and they go north to the warmer climate for the winter. It has been warmer, hasn't it, Bunty? Yeah, and they call it they call them grey nomads. And that's where they all hang out for. So in between that time we kind of we've got in before them and we've had so many places to ourselves, haven't we? I yeah. mean we have the road to ourselves, don't yeah, we? Yeah we had the road we've we got evidence skip along. of that. Yes. yes. Road to ourselves, we have cafes. Cafes, boat trips. Yeah, our own boat trip yesterday mm. or we uh, had a whole travel part to ourselves. Yep, and whole today we've got a beach to ourselves. We've got a beach to ourselves. We had um, the swimming pool to ourselves every day, lovely swimming pool. That's the one where Liz would drink several cocktails every evening. It'd be rude not to. <laughs> That's the one where they had the happy hour that lasted two hours. Well, the one drink just won't cut it, will it? It won't cut it. I mean, that... That poor uh, waitress. <laughs> she had to get a trolley to push the <laughs> But what we're doing today, we've driven from C- Cooktown all the way down to south of Innisfail. So I hope you're following this on your maps. But because we didn't quite understand distances, we were tired um, when we booked all this. We couldn't get accommodation in Cairns, so we had to keep moving south. Uh, but we're going back to Cairns tomorrow because we are going to go on a boat trip to an island called Green Island. And it's how amazing. Far, how many hours away? It's just two. Just two. <laughs> just two hours. That's nothing for us. No, we don't care. You know, anything less than 12 hours. We don't count. So we're doing count. our two-hour drive for the boat trip, so we're getting up at five tomorrow. But we're up with the sun. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then the next day, just to be sure, we're doing the same trip back but this time we're going into the rainforest on a sky rail. Liz will be crying all the way down, won't you? Well, we're going up on the train and coming back down the sky rail. And I'm just hoping it doesn't have a glass. It will have a glass. Oh, we booked no. that one specially. Oh. <laughs> yeah. She'll be fine. She, be she's fine. normally got gin and a small hip flask. It'll be fine. We'll just top it up. I find it works well. <laughs> I feel like an Aboriginal. <laughs> well, do you? Do you want me to find one? <laughs> you should have said while we were in the cooktown. <laughs> oh, well, gosh. we're in this very, very nice, um, what is this? Hmm, apartment. An apartment or a unit, and it looks out onto the sea. We have to be careful. All the time we are at Cooktown, no crocodiles because they had gone off to go mating up further up river. We came here and the lady who owns this 
So actually there is a crocodile, it does live here. It hangs out on the beach at night and during the day, uh, early in the morning. The rest of the time he's hanging about at the river mouth, about 1km up, up. I did persuade <coughs> Bunty to go out and pick up some coconuts. She's had me clearing the garden already because there are full, fallen coconuts. I just thought maybe you would, could encourage the crocodile to come for, for dinner. Yeah, we'll lob this crocodile with coconut shells. There's no coconuts in them, though they are empty, sadly. And Liz has already got to grips with the kitchen here and rustled up poached eggs on toast. Done. Very nice. Done. The alcohol is due out about any second now. Yeah, I'm getting it now. Yeah. Getting it right now. So actually, we need to do that. We need, we need to sign off, say goodbye to our friends, our fellow tradies, and we need to get our alcohol drinking on. Yeah, because we've got to go to bed soon. Yeah. Up at five. Just like tradies. Yeah, just like tradies Just like do. we're working yeah. in the mines at Springshaw. Yeah. yeah. That's us. So until then, bye. See ya. Bye. <laughs> We've, there are cows everywhere. Look, crossing... It's a cow crossing. It's a cow crossing. Look at all these cows. Just, just milling around. Doing their own thing. They're not fast. They are like chickens. They're crossing the road. And now suddenly, oh well, there's a few more coming up. We did see we did see a cowboy, an actual cowboy with a cowboy hat and cowboy outfit and a horsey. But he wasn't doing anything, he was just sort of standing looking at his mobile phone. And now here we've got a big road train, which is actually not very big, and more cows. And these cows and their babies are just milling about, doing their own thing. It's a big Time to disembark the beach tent. It's a two man job. You can do it, boys. Danny's going home today. He's done us proud. We weren't what he was expecting. He was probably expecting a nice Sunshine Coast family to drive around with him, just potter around. But we took him places that he never knew existed. We showed him a good time. We've cleaned him. Our fly collection has gone. It's clean. And we even had to take traders on tour off at the back. So Stan, you did us proud. We love you. We remember you forever. Mwah. Bye Stan. We remember you forever. All the fond memories. You're a legend. Your driving skills will never be the same again. A family that you have will never be as good as us. We've had a blast. Trade is on tour. One last goodbye. You can tell we're a bit sad to leave Stan. But he's on to ventures new. Bye Stan. We can highly recommend Apex. We love you Stan. One last goodbye. Yes. Yeah, he is. How's he doing? No, I don't think you've had to take it. You've been a bit sleepy. You've been a bit sleepy. Bloody hell, Bunty. What? We've only been here a couple of days. I can't even see the floor. I'm packing. I Look. can see that you're enthusiastic about packing. I don't know what more I can do. Look, I'm packing. I'll tell you what. You've got a bottle of wine? I have. I've got a bottle of wine. Have you? Yeah. That might make it feel a bit better then. Ching ching. Up yours, girl. Cheers to you. I don't suppose that customs will let me take all the alcohol back. We better drink it tonight. Well, that will cheer me up. It's your last night. You've got to pack all this stuff. Yeah, just chuck it in there. I'm just not a packing sort of person. It doesn't come natural to me. It's not thrilling, is it? No, it's not. But I see you've got another bottle of port. Well, it, in there. Use, it's hot tonight. I might need it. Well, that'll keep you going. And this. Got to keep up your fluids, Bunty. I know. It's that's important. what the doctor said the other day. Isn't it? Yeah. Keep your fluids up. Don't yeah. get dehydrated. Yeah. And so I've had to up the, the um, alcohol. I thought I might put this in the fridge and chill it. With, With alcohol? alcohol in it. Yes. Yeah.
because yeah. I think that's even better. Yeah. I mean, really, I'm not doing a bad job of packing. Doing a great job, actually, Bunty. I yeah. mean, you're halfway there. I know, I know. All you've got to do is just pick up that away. My lovely present that I got. It didn't <laughs> come with us, though, because I didn't want it to get ruined with alcohol and tear stains and stuff like that. <laughs> well, I think that packing is... A that's it, you're almost done. Yeah, it's good enough, isn't it? Time for a tree visitor map. We didn't actually. I'll leave that one. We didn't go there. You've almost fin finished, Bunting. Guide to Queensland's roads. Some are sealed, but not really. Not all of them. I'm bored now. Can we, we should, stop? Can we, we should... stop? I need a drink. Actually, that's a great idea. It's yeah. the best thing you've said. Look how well I've made a huge amount of progress. We'll just close the lid and it'll be fine. That's it. It works. Wonderful. Me. Let's go and have a drink, Bunty. Thank ching you. ching. Thank you. Well, this is what it's come to, Bunty. Yeah, it's a very sad sight. And I just feel that we, the quartermaster, didn't order enough. That's a lot. Was not left? It's all gone. I drank my vodka. You have drunk the, drank the last bottle of your red. Yeah. You know what this means? We're on the wagon now. On the wagon. And tomorrow is a bit of a sad day. Yeah, I'm going back to Blighty. Well, it's not that. I've lost my drinking partner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've never seen anyone knock that smirn off, in, smirn off in as much quantity, but you've done it justice. I did do it justice, and I'm very proud of that. Smirnoff and I, we're yeah, good mates. Yes, you are. You've had it in very various ways. You've had it with orange juice. Did you put vodka in it? Or is it vodka? It is vodka. It is. <laughs> Vodka I, with vodka. <laughs> what were you drinking with it as well, though? It was vodka, vanilla, and tonic. Of course, you watered it down with tonic. Well, at least that's what you told I me. I did. It came recommended by my brother. I remember you poisoned me nearly because you gave me a swig of it when we were at um, Mount Garnet, and I had to drink several glasses of red wine to get the nasty taste out of my mouth. <laughs> All the packing and heaving of alcohol, and this is it. It's, it is sad, isn't it? It's like this, it's the end. I miss the esky, full of alcohol. I miss the esky, full of alcohol. But you know what, Bunty? Mm. We did do it justice. We did. We went out with the intention of just drinking the occasional bottle here and there during the day. And, and I must say, you did. And you drove too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no kangaroos were killed in the drinking of all this alcohol. We salute you Smirnoff and we salute you Lambrisco Red. Yeah, slightly fizzy and jolly nice. I'm a lightweight but I still like it. Actually, why don't I mean? Love you lots. Love you too. Mm. It's white. Ah. Oh.